Hi everyone, nice to speak to you. It's Friday and it's the end of the week so I thought I'd just send you a little video update um, just to answer some of your quiz questions and to set you some new teasers for over the weekend as well. Uh, so thank you first of all to those of you that did take part in the quiz and sent me through your answers. You've got some quite strange ideas about some of our adults in school and I think you might be really surprised by some of the answers. So let's quickly go through the answers from yesterday and then I'll set you your new questions. So Question number one, I asked you which staff member has dressed up as a leprechaun and as a rabbit and has even fallen asleep in my office? The answer was Woody. Woody does it all the time falling asleep in my office. Um, number two, I asked you which adult was born in Northern Ireland and can ride a unicycle? That was Mrs. Medgett. I'm just as surprised as you are about the unicycle bit, but that is Mrs. Medgett. Uh, question three, um, I was telling you about Mrs Doherty has been teaching for a very long time, so long in fact, that she has taught one of our teachers when they were in school. And I asked you which teacher was it? Well, the teacher that Mrs Doherty taught in school was Miss Bamford. I think if you're in year six, you probably already knew the answer to that because I think Miss Bamford's already told you. Now, the next one. I asked you which adult in school has the nickname Cupcake. So as an adult in school that we all call Cupcake, and I was asking if you knew who that was. The adult that we all call Cupcake is, is Mrs Wesney, it's Jo. And if you'd like to know why she's called Cupcake, you can ask her about a present that she was given on a big milestone birthday. And it was such a big milestone birthday that it began with the number seven. Um, question five, I asked you, um, which teacher has talked in Lapland? And that is... Mr Reynolds. And Mr Reynolds was a teacher in Lapland. Uh, question six. I asked you which adult in school is a coffee thief who steals everybody's really really expensive and fancy coffee from the staff room and drinks it for themselves even though they haven't bought it and for quite a while nobody would tell me the answer so I, I was a bit worried it was me but it turns out the answer is actually Mr Williams so shame on you Mr Williams. Uh, question seven. Two adults in school used to work in a prison. Not the same prison, and they didn't go to prison, they were working there. Which adults used to work in a prison? And that is Miss Milanaska used to work in a prison, and so did Miss Morath. And question eight, we asked how many press-ups can Mr Evans do in one minute? The answer is in a video on the website and on the Facebook page already. I've uploaded it, but Mr Evans can do 49 press-ups in one minute. When you watch the video, Mr Evans isn't doing the press-ups that quickly, he's just sped the video up a little bit. Number nine, I asked you what is Ms Noble's favourite animal? Her favourite animal is a cat. And then I asked you for question ten, which adult used to own a Shetland pony? Well that adult was Miss Hardacre. So well done if you got ten out of ten on that, I'm very impressed. If you did get ten out of ten, send me an email and let me know. I'll be really, really pleased to hear that. You'll know our staff better than I know them. Right, I've got 10 more questions for you. So here we go, pencil and paper ready. Question one, which adult in school drives rally cars? So which adult drives rally cars? Question two, which adult is related to a famous actor? Which adult is related to a famous actor? Question three, which adult has done Harry Potter impressions and been paid for their impressions in Las Vegas. So which adult has done Harry Potter impressions and been paid for doing it in Las Vegas? Question four. What football team does Mrs Doherty actually support? What football team does Mrs Doherty actually support? Question five. Which adult is a national level triathlete? So which adult is a national level triathlete? So this adult, for their age, is really, really good. So good that they are the best in the country at doing triathlons. Question six. Which adult used to be a model? Which adult used to be a model? Question seven. Which adult has got a dog called Otto? So what adult in school has got a dog called Otto? It's quite a new dog, it's a puppy, and it's very, very cute, and it likes getting in dishwashers, strangely. Um, question eight. Sorry, Mr Evans, but there's a variation on the theme each week, um, just because we know you'll have a challenge. 
how many press-ups can Mr Evans do in one minute with his daughter sat on his back? So how many press-ups can Mr Evans do in one minute with his daughter sat on his back? Question nine. Which adult has come to school dressed as a safari animal even when it's not non-uniform day? Which adult has come to school dressed as a safari animal even when it's not non-uniform day? This adult has also come to school dressed as a particular suite from Quality Street and I told her and she wasn't very happy. Which adult was it? Question 10, last question. Which adult used to be in the army? Which adult used to be in the army? There's your 10 questions. Have a think about them over the weekend. Send me through your answers. I enjoy seeing all the emails come in and I will uh, I'll tell you the answers to those on Monday. The quiz for Monday and Tuesday is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a picture quiz. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it yet because I've got to try and work out how I'm going to film it and show you some pictures. But we're going to do baby photos. So we're going to send you through some baby photos of the adults in school. You'll have 10 on Monday and hopefully 10 on Tuesday and you've got to try and match up the photo to the adult. I think it's going to be quite good fun. I've already seen some of them. One or two of them are very, very scary. Um, and before you ask, Mrs Doherty, she has surprisingly got a photo. I presume that they just did oil paintings in those days, but she does have a photo of herself from when she was a baby, so she might be one of the answers. Right, have a lovely weekend, everyone, and I'll see you later on. Bye.